here is an example of a teacher's preparation uh, in one of these online classrooms. Uh, the one that I've used this time is View um, at view.com and I've used this one because it has certain features that uh, I've been uh, experimenting with and I like quite, uh, quite a lot. Uh, it has all the usual writing tools, uh, pencil, text highlighter which you can see here, typing as I've done here, writing in pencil, creating lines, deleting, making shapes, etc. But it also has another very nice feature which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So as the students log into the class, you can ha already have a board set up for them because you invite them and you can have them guess the idiom, for example, because the lesson has to do with the sense of smell and how it's used by manufacturers and salespeople to lure people into buying more things. And you can ask them to guess this one and then also brainstorm some vocabulary related to smell, the sense of smell and different uh, vocabulary that means smelling. Once they've done that, you can move them into the next, uh, to the next board where you're going to play a video that you've downloaded from YouTube. You can do that from this plug in and you can uh, put in a link or you can upload a video that you have in your own hard drive and you can ask them as a prediction activity where normally in a class they would write it on a piece of paper, they would say something, you can ask them to record one thing they know about the sense of smell in a sticky note and um, this is an example, of course, and I've recorded these notes, but I can play back uh, the recording. And here uh, is the, the first comment. I know that um, if you can't smell, probably your sense of taste is not very good. Another student may have recorded another sticky note and you can listen to it and other students can listen to each other's recordings. I know that dogs can smell better than people. Etc. So once this prediction has been done and for a few minutes uh, students listen to each other's sticky notes and maybe they add a comment of their own, you can play the video. If you can't smell, you probably can't taste very well either. They are closely related functions. Receptor cells for taste and smell are located in the mouth and nose, respectively. As the receptor cells are stimulated, they send... I'm going to stop it here because this is not an actual lesson. Um, later, after the students have uh, listened to this video, you can ask them what they've learned, how their views were different from what the, or those of the video. You could even have a discussion on the video or some listening comprehension check questions um, and then move them to uh, the next part of the lesson, which is preparing them for a longer text. Text. Um, I think, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, online classrooms are not ideal for conducting reading lessons because usually it's very difficult for students to see the whole text. So usually texts, I would either email them the link or email them the text to read at the appropriate moment and I would do the preparation and some of the tasks in the online classroom. This one has some related vocabulary which they're going to see in the text itself and I have prepared it by um, uh, linking the pronunciation of it, you know, recording how the words are pronounced. And then I can also ask the students to make their own sticky notes to repeat the pronunciation. And if they made a sticky note like this, uh, I can write uh, a type uh, comment if I like the pronunciation. But I can also uh, record. Uh, a rec sorry. Great pronunciation, Marisa. Okay. Um, I'm not the only one who can do this. Uh, you can encourage students to listen to each other's recording and make a correction or make a little comment in the sticky note by writing it or recording it. Um, you can ask students to look words up in a dictionary. There are many online dictionaries. Um, and then um, if uh, they want to discuss uh, questions and report uh, their opinions to class 
um, that is something you can also do um, uh, by asking, uh, by handing microphone rights to different students to express their views. Later on, you can take them to an activity where again they predict the order of uh, different paragraphs. Here I've given them the beginnings, and then when it's when they decide. Um, uh, by writing their own numbers here, uh, or each student can use their own colors and say, I think this is number one, I think this is number two. Later on, they can go to the reading um, and check whether they were correct. Um, this is a worksheet from a lesson that I've used offline in an actual classroom. But as you notice, a lot of the stuff that you can use in class, you can use online but not so much um, um, heavy text on the page because texts are actually quite difficult to read, particularly if they are long. So this is a little demo of how you can prepare and set up a lesson in VIEW and in other classes.